right, it's 2.45 in the morning, and Logan informed me that there's a stray cat in his car. He just brought food and water out, and I'm gonna head on out with the cat carrier. And we're gonna see what we can do to try to help this bud, because he's apparently scared. Let's go. Is it a he or a she? I don't know. My friend. Oh, you are very pretty. You're also very clean. I'm wondering if you're someone's house pet that got out. Oh, she was very scared and very brave. I had to start almost a block away, and when I'd walk too close, it arched. So, I have been released from the car. It does not like me. It is watching the heck out of me. So I ran in. I got one of Spotticus's wet food things. And both of our friends are up. I've been wondering what's going on that mom's up at 3 in the morning. Um, Logan's trying to get her to eat some wet food. Because we're wondering if that will just be a little bit more appetizing. Yeah, Logan's in his car. And I've been left outside and it's cold oh the rescues are fun all right we got our new friend in carrier oh this is gonna be a long night hi friend oh hi oh so i'm in the bathroom this bud's checking out the carrier. And Logan is in the ER because Logan got scratched. And we asked the ER. And they said, come in. Because this ain't good. So Logan's getting shots and stuff, which I feel very bad about. Because he does not like shots. But he did a very good thing. And we're going to go to the ER vet and see if this friend has a home. Or if they see rabies or anything that we really need to be concerned about. So we're gonna go to the ER vet. Like, he's so tame and so sweet. I'm not sure what exactly is gonna happen. It is 4.55, this guy ate, and then just went in here on his own. So we're gonna go to the ER vet. All right, so we are back from the vet. They didn't really run any tests or anything. Logan's back from the ER, and he just curled into my lap. He's a very sweet boy. I wish we could keep him, but our cat is ready to, like, tear him apart. So we can't keep him, but he's so sweet. Are you gonna get down? That's okay. You can get down. No. Okay. He's so sweet. So sweet. Logan's gonna sleep a little bit, and then we're gonna call the non-emergency line, though. Now it's the vet told us to do, and they'll bring him to the Humane Society. And he's really sweet, though. So sweet. to go get him a toy. Like, that's it. He's very sweet. All right, you guys, so good. Almost afternoon. We're about a half hour away from afternoon. I have been up since 3 in the morning, 2.45, something like that. I have not shaved. I have not brushed my teeth. I have not done anything to actually take care of myself. I've been locked in the bathroom with a cat. <sighs> because if you've been watching this vlog, you know we that Logan found a cat last night. And as far as we knew it was a stray, it was kind of asking for help. So Logan got him in the car. We got him in the house. Uh, we then found that Logan had gotten scratched somewhere along the way, so Logan went to the ER. They put him on antibiotics. Oh no. Which one of you hissed? It was you. 
I feel like it was you. Alright, if you can't tell, someone is very grumpy about our guest in the bathroom. And like, I get where he's coming from. This is his house. I understand. He's always protected it very highly and then all of a sudden we just bring another cat in. That ain't gonna fly. That's not good. How would I feel if Logan just brought another girl home? <laughs> I, I think it's hilarious because he jumped on my sewing table, which he very rarely does. And I got these two pictures of him, which I think are absolutely adorable. And I like them. So that's kind of that. Um, but yeah. I really don't have an update. I'm just now playing on my phone, but in the sewing room where there's sunlight. So, um, but I was talking to my mother and she said, okay, if it looks relatively well taken care of, then there's a chance that it's someone's pet. And if we leave it outside, it might just go home. I doubt that. I'm gonna talk to Logan about like where he found it and stuff, but I don't think it's anyone's cat. So then our two options are to call the non-emergency line and they'll take it to the and the police will come and take it to the Humane Society or we bring it to the Humane Society. The Humane Society is doing um appointments only though, so I don't know what to do. I'm kinda waiting for Logan to wake up. But I feel bad because he went to bed at 6 a.m. So if I wake him up at noon, that is six hours of sleep after being up for 24 hours. And now he wasn't up for 24 hours. Yeah, no, I don't know what he was talking about. Um, but still, he only gets six hours of sleep, although I just counted on my fingers and I got like five. I need coffee really badly. So I'm not sure if I should wake him up or not. I still got grumpy pants and I still feel really bad about bringing this cat to the Humane Society. Like, I just feel really bad, but we cannot take the best care of it, so. Because we got a different one. And a few of the daughters. Um, and just to let you know, I did change all my clothes and I washed my hands before bugging this one. Goodbye. Alright, so it is now 1.45. Logan just called the non-emergency line and they're sending animal control to bring him to the Humane Society. And like, I'm really sad because he's so sweet and so cute and so well behaved. And so pretty. I'm so sad. I'm so sad, friend.